What's up guys, my name is King Gokin, and what I have for you guys today are the rules for my next online tournament for Storm 3, which will be taking place this Saturday at 3 o'clock in the afternoon central time. The tournament will be on PS3 this time. And since Storm 3 4 Burst just came out, I was thinking, well, wouldn't it be cool to do an all-sage mode Kabuto tournament, right? I mean, that'd be cool, right? But then I figured some of you guys may not like that idea. You know, considering that the last time I did a tournament where it had all the same characters, I believe it was the all-Naruto edition, uh, some of you guys didn't like that. And I can understand that, because on the last tournament that I uploaded, on like tournament 27, uh, <laughs> a lot of you guys kind of complained about, uh, you know, who the players picked. A lot of the players picked Sasuke for that tournament, which is very shocking, because I did not expect that. Because that tournament, you could play any character you wanted, and a lot of people kind of just went straight to Sasuke for that one. Still not really sure why they did that. And speaking of that tournament, you guys didn't really like the online tournament 27 that much. Even though I made it all the way to the finals, you know, you guys, you guys didn't like it for some reason. I mean, yeah, I know that some people broke the rules, but that was an accident. Because it's very easy on this game to accidentally do your jutsu attack if you're trying to chakra dash. Because I do it only once in that video where I accidentally use my jutsu. You know, it's very easy to make that mistake. You know, so I overlooked the fact that some people use their jutsus in a match if they used it once. If they used it more than once... Then I definitely know that they're trying to break the rule on purpose. And speaking of rule breaking, um, I'll admit that I am very lenient on the rules. If someone breaks the rule, I'm not going to just restart the whole tournament over if one person breaks the rules. Because that happens in almost every tournament where one guy is always going to break the rules or they don't follow the theme that I set for the video. You know, that happens sometimes, but not all the time. Most of the times, it's smooth, every fight is good, and everyone follows the rules. That's how most tournaments are. All right. Uh, but anyway, though, <laughs> I kind of got off topic right there. But let me get back to the main point of the video. All right. I decided that since the all Sage Mode Kabuto tournament wouldn't be that great, I was thinking, well, what if I do a Fire Style User Tournament only? No, I haven't done one for Storm 3 yet, so I think that would be pretty cool to do. Now, obviously, for that tournament, I'm pretty sure everyone's going to want to play as Itachi. So I'm going to say right now that for that tournament, I'm going to play as Itachi, and I could be the only Itachi in that tournament. And that solves that problem right there. So there we go. So I'm thinking this tournament, all Fire Style users, uh, your supports, because this will be team battles, your supports must be Fire Style users as well. And that's pretty much it for the tournament. So if you guys want to be in that tournament, put your PSN in the comments below. And I'll shoot you an invite this Saturday around 3 o'clock in the afternoon, Central Time. And then we'll do the tournament and have fun. Uh, anyway, that pretty much wraps up the video. Thank you guys for... Uh, Listen to this commentary. Thank you guys for watching the video. If you enjoyed the video, you know, give it a thumbs up because it does help. And it definitely does put a huge smile on my face from ear to ear. Anyway, King Goken out.